Ina uh, has been a partner for with EU Screen for a long time. It, it was partner in EU Screen, EU Screen Excel, and f before that it was associate partner in Video Active. It is, of course, a content provider, so it is providing with uh, videos that it holds co uh, right, the rights for. Uh, so we are a contributing partner. It is a, a great way to display our content within uh, an international uh, dimension. Myself, I am in charge, I'm, I'm responsible for the INATEC department and the INATEC department in, in, at INA is the department that makes available all the content that INA collects, that is 12 million hours, that makes it available for academic and research purposes, but on site. So we have several sites where these collections are available for research purposes. Uh, we aim at having 50 on-site uh, premises where we make those collections available by the year 2019. So it's, it is of great importance that these contents are shared and used, but because they are uh, under the uh, protected by the copyright rules, we cannot make them all available online. So we spread the uh, premises where we make them available. I'm part of the editorial board and there's the next issue that I've been coordinating that will be released at the end of the year. It's on uh, archive-based productions and so it's a way to have academics uh, uh, analyze the way archives are used in fresh productions. Uh, as far as the evolution of television is, is concerned, I guess uh, um, it has never uh, happened that a media has disappeared after another has come up. Uh, so radio was does not disappear when television came up. Television does not disappear uh, when the internet came up. But it's all a, a transmedia, cross-media approach, I guess. And of course, uh, television is uh, present on the web now very much. But uh, as a, as a media as such, I don't think it will disappear. It suddenly is being used in a different, uh, in various ways, very various different ways, because because it is the content is digital. It can be manipulated, and uh, you know you can have all these mashup things. So I guess archives can be used in very in various ways now, and very creative ways. Uh, so th th because the content is available online and a vast amount of it, it will probably develop to use uh, the archives in more creative way. But we have always have this restriction of copyrights and uh, authorship that has to be respected.